Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Technohead and welcome back to my channel. Today we're continuing my series, which is taking a look at the most valuable video games for classic systems. I'm super excited about today because today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Atari 5200. Now the Atari 5200 was my first game console. We got it in Christmas of 1982 and I remember playing hours and hours of Super Breakout and Star Wars Arcade. In fact, I even learned how to swear watching my dad play Space Invaders. So this is a really important system to me and I'm very excited to be taking a look at these games today. So here's what we're gonna do. In these videos, we're using the price guide that was included in the 2002 book, Collecting Classic Video Games by Billy Galaxy. We take the prices that were listed there in 2002 and we're comparing them with the current prices listed on pricecharting.com for complete in-box examples of those games. I'm hoping to find how the values of these games have changed over the past 20 years. Have they gone up? Have they gone down? If you bought one of these games in the 80s, could you buy a Porsche now? I don't know, we'll find out. Let's find out together. As a quick note, the prices from the 2002 price guide have been adjusted for inflation, so when we compare the two prices, we'll be able to truly understand what the value change was for these games over time. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at the most valuable Atari 5200 games from 2002 until today in 2022. Right. We're starting off the show with a showstopper. This is number 25. It's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle. Depicts the classic uh, final action part of Return of the Jedi where the Millennium Falcon is attacking the second Death Star. This was 215 bucks back in 2002. And today it's gone down to $76, which is a 64% decrease in value. That's followed up by number 24. This is Mr. Dew's Castle. Mr. Dew's Castle is uh, not as rare as some of the other games on this list. It's an arcade game conversion for the Atari 5200. Back in 2002, this game would cost you $215. It has gone down in price in 2022. It's $83, which is a decrease of 61.40%. That's followed up by number 23. This is Rescue at Fractalus, back when Lucasfilm uh, made video games that were not based on Star Wars. This is kind of an interesting um, flight sim meets, you know, it's kind of like a first person choplifter almost. It was $108 in 2002, and today it's gone down to $45, which is a decrease of 58.33%. At number 22, we have another Star Wars game. This is Star Wars The Arcade Game. Uh, the 2002 uh, price for Star Wars The Arcade Game was $141. And that's a pretty good deal. This is definitely my favorite game for the 5200. I played a ton of it. Today it would cost you $68, which is a decrease of 51%. And still a deal at $68. I'd definitely say to pick it up if you don't have it. In the 21 spot, we've got another arcade conversion. This is Gorf. Gorf is a sort of lesser Space Invaders clone. Uh, as you can see from the gameplay footage here, I was having a hard time getting it to work. Um, I'm not sure if there was a problem with my joystick or whatever, but uh, I couldn't really figure out how to shoot through the shield and I was um, basically just flopping all around there. This is $83 back in the day and today it goes for 49 followed up by number 20 this is mountain king mountain king uh was a game that would have cost you 108 dollars back in 2002 this has a rarity guide rarity of 52 so definitely not the most rare game on the list but today a copy will cost you about 75 dollars for a new in box copy that's a decrease in value of 30.56 percent 
We've got James Bond 007 coming in at the number 19 spot. This is a game we saw on a couple of the other video lists that we had. This is a relatively rare game for the 5200. It is uh, a game that cost about $108 back in 2002. And in 2022, the price is going to be 75. That's a 30.56% decrease in value. Blueprint is bringing in the number 18 spot. Blueprint is not an especially rare game compared to some of the other games on this list, but it did command a price of $91 back in 2002. Uh, the price is not done as bad as some of the other games on this list. It's uh, going for about 65 bucks today. That's a decrease of 28.57% for CBS Electronics Classic Blueprint. That's followed by K Razy Shootout at number 17. Uh, you know, let's not mince words. This is just a berserk clone. Has some great uh, cover art with an astronaut shooting at a robot. You can't get better than that. This was 200. This is, I'm sorry, $165 back in 2002. And today, a copy in box will go for $120. That's a negative 27.27% decrease in value. Frogger 2 3 Deep, one of the most cleverly named video games on the 5200, is coming in at the number 16 spot. In 2002, this extremely rare game was going for $157. It's still over $100 today at $116, but that has gone down a little bit. That's a 26.11% decrease in value over time. For the classic sequel to Frogger, Another extremely rare game here. This is number 15, Gremlins. This game has some kind of fun uh, animation, as you can see from the video. Kind of reminds me of Food Fight a little bit. In 2002, this game was going for about $108. And today, a copy will go for about $82 if you can find one. That's a 24% decrease in value for the game Gremlins. A Sega classic is coming in at number 14. This is Zaxxon. Zaxxon was an early isometric shooter game, kind of taking um, some of the popular games of the day and turning it on its side. In 2002, a copy of Zaxxon was going for about 157 bucks. In 2022, you can get a copy of Zaxxon box for $130. Uh, that's a 17% decrease in value, but not too shabby for Zaxxon. That's followed up by Quest for Quintana Roo. Quest for Quintana Roo is a relatively rare game. It's one of the most rare games on this list. Uh, in 2002, this was going for $116 in a box, if you could find one. And in 2022, the price of this game has only gone down slightly, very slightly to 110. That's pretty negligible. It's a 5% decrease in value. And number 12, we've got Meteorites. Have to be very careful to call it Meteorites and not Meteorite or the Atari Age guys are gonna come for me again. Uh, this was a very rare game and a very expensive game in 2002. A copy of this game would go for $421, which as it happens is exactly what it goes for today. So we're seeing the rare hold anime girl uh, because there's been absolutely no change in value over the last 20 years. That's followed up by Zenji, another very rare game from Activision for the Atari 5200. This game was going for about $108 back in the day in 2002. And today a copy uh, would go for about $111, which is a slight increase, a 2.78% increase. So nothing to sniff at there. That's Zenji from Activision. Then we've got another arcade classic, Robotron 2084. This version of Robotron for the Atari 5200 was about $58 back in 2002. It's got pretty accurate gameplay. It's a fun game. It's Trent Reznor's favorite game. This game in 2022, if Trent was going to buy a copy for the 5200, would cost him $63, which is an 8% increase for Robotron 2084. 
Another rare game from Activision. We've got Beam Rider here. This is a really fun game, uh, which I didn't discover until uh, recently based on my research for these videos. This game uh, was two, in 2002 was $58. And today in 2022, a copy of Beam Rider would go for about $70, which is a 20.69% increase in value. And as you can see, we use the grid for the background and the rest of the videos. That's followed by Keystone Capers at number eight. Keystone Capers is kind of a sillier game. It's got uh, colorful, gr fun graphics where you got Keystone cops chasing after criminals. This was $45 back in 2002. It's gone up a little bit. It's $59 now for a box copy of Keystone Capers. That's a 31.11% increase in value. From Activision again, we've got Dreadnought Factor. This is a really fun game, an interesting gameplay, great cover art. In 2002, the price of this game was about $50. Um, and today in 2022, uh, a copy of Dreadnought Factor is gonna go for about 69, which is a 38% increase in value over time for the Dreadnought Factor. At the number six spot, we have Mega Mania, which I have to say, based on the cover art, I was not expecting the gameplay. This is basically a Space Invaders clone where you shoot hamburgers and other kinds of weird objects. Mega Mania was going for $47 back in 2002, and in 2022, a box copy of Mega Mania is $68, and that's a 44% increase in value for a game where you shoot hamburgers, Mega Mania. Montezuma's Revenge starring Panama Joe is coming in at number five. This is kind of an early platformer, kind of like Splunky, and I think in some ways inspired by Pitfall. Uh, in 2002, a copy of Montezuma's Revenge was $116. And in 2022, that's gone up to $172, a 48% increase in value. Montezuma's Revenge is a game that we saw on another uh, list as well. At number four, we've got Zone Ranger, a very, very rare and very late release for the Atari 5200. It's an asteroids-like game uh, where you fly around. It's got great colors and uh, just a fun game overall. It was $42 in 2002, and it's gone up to $90 in 2022 for Zone Ranger. Great box art, too. Pitfall 2, which is a more rare game than uh, the kind of ubiquitous Pitfall 1. It even has uh, uh, Snaggletooth from the Pitfall cartoon in it. This game uh, was $30 back in 2002, and it has gone up in price to $75, which is a 150% increase in value for Pitfall 2 The Lost Caverns. Very rare game. That's followed by Decathlon at the number two spot. This was an infamous breaker of joysticks, Decathlon. Uh, this game was $42 in 2002. And today in 2022, a copy of Decathlon would set you back about $107. That's a not a bad increase, 154.76% for Activision's Decathlon. And now, coming in at the number one spot is an extremely rare game. So rare I had a very hard time finding footage of it because I do not have a copy of it. This is Bounty Bob Strikes Back. In 2002, a copy of this game was $454. And that has increased significantly to $1,497 for a copy of Bounty Bob Strikes Back. That's a 229.74% increase. 
And there you have it, the most valuable Atari 5200 games in 2002 and where their values are today in 2022. If you like this video, I've already got a playlist with a few other videos for systems like the Atari 2600, the Intellivision, the ColecoVision, and even the Odyssey 2. If you wanna see future videos in this series, then please take a moment to click the subscribe button. And while you're there, you might as well smash that like button too. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I had so much fun taking a look at my first system, the Atari 5200. Did you have any of these games? Are there any of these games that weren't included that you think should have been? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. I'm Technohead and we'll see you next time.